Red Line Sunday School Attend, the workshop themed Seafood Center in 2023 identifying challenges and solving the problems of decrease in orders and increase in interest rate. The Mission Group of Rosento Student Committee for the National Target Program had a fat fighting trip at Mayhem Market and Tân Thế Quan Cooperative in from the suburban district. The project of building three tenant dikes against landslide in Janak River, Jiang Wold, Bintui, Upper District got approval from Kentucky City. Hello and very warm welcome to another edition of Continuous and Top News today. After a strong growth in the first half of the year that contributes to pushing Vietnam's seafood export to hit the record level of roughly $11 billion, seafood orders are now getting a decrease in the peak consumption phase. Relating to this problem, on November 26 afternoon, the Vietnam Business Electronic Magazine, Vietnam Business VN Electronic Information webpage, and Green Pen Vietnam totally held the workshop themed Seafood Center in 2023, identifying challenges and solving the problems of decrease in orders and increase in interest rate. According to the organizing board of the workshop, of 117 seafood businesses, as many as 71% of them predicted that 2023 will be a challenging year for the seafood sector, whereas as many as 87% are aware of benefits from technological investment for sustainable development, but their financial ability does not support the investment. At the workshop, representatives of Vietnam Association of Seafood Exporters and Producers, economic and financial experts, as well as seafood businesses, shared three big challenges, including exchange rate fluctuation, tightened capital source, world economic downturn, inflation, while pointing out proactive solutions towards the sustainable development of seafood businesses. In a mission trip to Kansas City, the mission group of the Central Student Committee for the National Target Program 2021-2025 phase, and ahead of Deputy Minister of Industry and Trade Huyen Shin Nhật Tân, he just had a fat fighting trip at Mikhan Market and Tân Thới Wan Cooperative in from the suburban district. Mikhan Market is invested and managed by McJador Limited Liability Company and has 48 stores. It ensures a sufficient supply of essentials with high quality and stable price. Regarding Tung Thế Wan Cooperative, this unit was founded in 1998 and began planned in durians in 2015. It now has 39 members who cultivate 25 hectares of durians. The cooperative got the Vic Gap standard in 2020. This year, it produces 250 tons of durian. It has signed in consumption contracts with Vang Hoa, limited liability company in Ho Chi Minh City, to consume durians in 2023 and is aiming to export its durians to the Chinese market. After the fight fighting trip, the mission group requested department centers and localities to organize regular inspections on the food safety hygiene. For operations of Tân Thế Quan Cooperative, attention should be paid to consuming durians and given technical instructions to apply clean and safe production techniques so as to meet market demands, especially device its export future. The project of building a retaining dike against landslides in Janop River, the Angwold, Bentoy, Uber District has just been decided and got approval at the total investment capital of more than 272 billion Vietnam dome invested by the irrigation sub department. The retaining dike is a length of nearly 2 km with a total land use area of nearly 2.5 hectares, built from 2022 to 2025. The total investment level of the project is more than 272 billion Vietnam dong, including 100 billion earmarked from the central budget and the remaining from local budget. The project aims to control serious landslides on the Up River Bank, running from Sao May to Ratio Bridges, from then ensuring life, health, and property safety for residents along the bank. On November 26 morning, Kansas City's Industry and Trade Department organized a city-level exercise on coping with chemical incidents in 2022. The exercise was held at the hydrogen producing plant and ammonium thermal power plant. It was simulated to be caused by ammonia leakage that could be tackled by the two units and needed a specific plan to cope with the incident. As a result, there was a need to mobilize support from offices and units in the city. 
The exercise was held and scheduled and planned by the organizing board. The exercise aims to boost management competence and skills in coping with chemical incidents. Kansas City's Youth Union, the Departments of Education and Training, and Labor and Valley and Social Affairs on November 26 opened a training for cadres of youth unions of schools in Kansas City in 2022. From November 26 to 28, 160 youth union cadres of universities, colleges, high schools, and centers for continuing education in the city are giving information on youth unions' tasks, sabotage plots of hostile forces against the party and state on cyber network and control measures. In addition, attendees are conducted how to build images of youth union cadres and presentation skills, write news, and record images on movements at schools. In an effort to reduce traffic accidents before and after the traditional Tet 2023, the Road Traffic Police under Kansas City's Public Security organized a two-month peak phase, lasting from November 25, 2022 to January 25, 2023 to re-establish traffic order. In this peak phase, the Road Traffic Police focuses on overspeed in trunk and cases, overloaded transport, and driving on drunk lanes. In the meantime, chemical centers combine to treat illegal parking cases. In 11 months of 2022, there were more traffic accidents in Kansas City. The Green Start Affair, which was officially opened on November 23rd at the campus of Mường Thanh Kentor Luxury Hotel, opened a chain of activities of the Mekong Connect Forum 2022. The fair attracted nearly 150 units and businesses from branches and cities in the Mekong Delta, Ho Chi Minh City, and some other localities. At this fair, there are some prominent stones of permanency in cities in the ABCD Mekong Affiliate Network, including An Giang, Bến Tre, Cần Thơ, Đồng Tháp, and Ho Chi Minh City. The stones are arranged according to each province and city and have a special space displaying a variety of green star products, or cup products certified from three to five stars of units and businesses at each locality. In the framework of the event, 17 businesses are startup enterprises, or cup enterprises in Kansas City. We hope that at this green market, businesses of Kansas City can exchange, connect, and learn experiences from other businesses in provinces and cities of the Mekong Delta region, as well as provinces and cities across the country. We thought this is the opportunity for us to meet here. The first is to exchange information during the event, to share information and experiences, to find market development opportunities. We are very interested in enhancing the market capacity of enterprises by increasing the market and distribution of goods. Because the goods of enterprises have been exported not only in the domestic market. Also at this fair, there was the participation of a team of startups in each year of the Agricultural Startup Innovation Contest held by the BSA Center. Along with that, there are the enterprises winning the contest of TechFest region in 2022 organizations with startup activities such as Women's Union, Central Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union. We are very impressed with the young people because they look for many strange products, know how to apply traditional products or apply technology in agriculture to develop products from the past to introduce to consumers know the characteristic of every region. And last but not least, we have the updated weather forecast. The updated for the forecast also wrapped up this edition of Kenty News. If you want to watch again in this bulletin, please visit our website, kentotv.vn. And now thanks for being with us. Goodbye and see you next time.